What's up, guys? What's up? What's going on, boys? How you doing, Chris? Doing good. How about you? Dude, I like you. I like wherever you're at. It looks like it's popping in your scene. It is. Tobe? Tobe, going. look at you. Sirs. Sirs, plural. Where are, you, where are you at? Are you in Bora Bora? I am, man. I am. Uh, this is the wettest desert you've ever seen. Oh, wow. Here. So, yeah. That's incredible. You look like you're in the Amazon right now. I'm actually the size of an ant sitting in my front lawn. Is it That's easy it. being green? <laughs> 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 this is great. So what's up, guys? Thanks for coming on. Thanks this for having me. Awesome. Yeah, excited. Oh, this, is the, this is the first of many, I think. But uh, this is pretty cool. This is the first chance that we get to actually see in a contest form what our, what our community is doing and get to celebrate a little bit of their creations. Because there's definitely things in here that I wouldn't have done or I wouldn't have thought of doing. And I think that's the whole beauty of what we've created is to get to see how people actually use these tools. No, I mean, there's there's a few different examples of things that from a design and engineering standpoint of the app, I don't think anybody anticipated, which is the greatest surprises ever. The way that the community was able to get creative with how they use the tools and create things in the negative space. We definitely didn't see that coming. And, you know, I'd love to say we should have because we'd like to try to think of everything, but what a great surprise. I mean, a lot of creativity out there. It's amazing. Well, it's beautiful. Yeah, people are doing with um, the different image, the same image, how different they are. And it's kind of, you know, like art is a language and it's very interesting to see how different people interpret the same picture to make it unique. Yeah, no for doubt. Sure. For sure. For well, sure. why don't we look at these things? Let's see what we got. Yeah, man. And you know what else would be helpful is since I've been tattooed by both of you um, and you know that it's sort of when you're putting it on your body for life, a lot of people, some people don't put much thought into it. Other people really want to have deep meaning. Um, maybe you could walk through everybody sort of the the infinite dragon and, and sort of the meaning and, you know, as as tattooers, you know, what the significance of of this is and, and why you guys pick this uh, particular piece for the for the contest. Well, I'm going to burst everybody's bubble and say that I just drew something that wasn't a tattoo, so I didn't have any constraints. So I just made something that would be fun to color. Um, really not. It was just kind of a cool head and then put a snake body on there and have him blowing some fire out of his mouth and make it cool. Because when you draw a tattoo, you have to draw kind of in a way where everything's really open or whatever. And even though that aesthetic I kind of draw here, I still felt a lot like just do whatever because we're not worried about colors running together. We're not worried about, you know, lines pushing together. So if you look at a lot of Garver's artwork that he turned in, it all comes from a coloring book and it's so intricate and so tight. And we all know that tattooing, there are, you know, there are constraints where when you put things together, they age over time and they can blur together, you know, and your little gaps can turn different colors if you don't know how to, it, they can all turn black if you don't know how to, keep that distance but in a drawing you can do anything you want so that was kind of the beauty of seeing these tattooers really take off the gloves and kind of draw the way they wanted to draw without being caught up in worrying about aging and the other circumstances this was more art driven which was really fun and liberating i think for a lot of us yeah that's cool that's cool i know the um it's i would have it i would ha take almost any one of these as a tattoo though is the irony of it, I think that you know when we get to, to showcase some of these, it, it the, they're all uh, very poppy. They look great. I mean, I could see any one of these getting getting tattooed, you know, uh, on somebody with no doubt. I wouldn't be surprised if we do. Right. I'm sure some of them already have tattooed <laughs> on people. <laughs> Dude, the things I feel, I I am a little concerned. The things, the secrets that we let out in this little project, there's some beautiful stuff. I mean, this could take, this could take the average into above average status quickly. Nice. But uh, it's nice, man. I'm so happy that everybody came on and everything that we've gotten back from the community, the feedback, the overwhelming amount of submissions, and really all of you guys as artists coming on and and being part of this project means the world to me, but to us as a company. We love you guys a lot and we thank you. And thanks for coming on first, Chris. Appreciate it. Thank you. Well, let's check out this art. Let's talk about it. <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> you know what's great about this? Can I can I just say what's great about this for me real quick? Oh boy. Well, the crowd judged. I have nothing to do with it. Right. That. That's so nice. <laughs> right. Guys, that was that was me being that was me working for a paycheck. This is now just celebrating art. So see, that's what I love about this everybody at Tail. What's great about collab is the raw honesty. Like you can express like the yeah. relief, uh, the honest relief that you had on on not having to do that. Whereas you know, I think Shoo. You know, Gar <laughs> Garver on the other hand is probably chomping at the bit to destroy some kid's hopes that went ahead and submitted. Nobody's gonna get voted off the app. Right, right, right. yeah, no, yeah, exactly. You're still gonna have access tomorrow. It's great. Honestly, like all these submissions are 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 pretty amazing to me. So. Um, and I'm not just saying that because I, anybody that knows me knows that I would be really candid about, you should probably not use our app anymore because you're giving us a bad look, but we didn't get any of those. These all look really good. Next <laughs> time. That's from, awesome. Uh, on the worst submission. Right. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> this would be the best. All right. Let's look at, uh, let's look at this blue background. What do you think, Chris? I think it's pretty great. Um, the only thing that I would like to see is maybe the eyes be colored in and um, it's pretty good. I mean, the blue is competing with the, it's very bright. So it kind of competes with the, uh, the image colors, but I, I think it's pretty good. I like, you know red and, I like green. I, and I like the brown against the red and even the brown against the blue, you know, it's like they're put, it could be broke up a little different, but the, the browns against those colors in general, are really nice i've seen you do it you know i've seen you do some really nice things with that in the past and it's a fun colorway yeah i mean the head doesn't pop as much as the body but you know right it's pretty nice what that's, do you think that's, Tobe? That, that's funny to me because actually my probably favorite part of the blue background uh is is actually the face i just think like the you know, from from a non professional artist perspective, as everything else is so bright and poppy, like it, it really has a nice contrast in terms of the shading and everything else. And I, I'm just sort of drawn into that, um, and it's cool because I'm looking at it from two different perspectives. So I, I can see it on my phone, and as well as I have it on a monitor. And what's really neat is just how you know it it, it looks almost completely different in these two formats but both work uh, very well and just a lot of time taken, I think, into the into the int intricacies on the face there. So I, I dig it. I think one thing though is the head of whatever you're in, in tattooing, especially the head of whatever you're coloring is the focal point. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a pretty interesting choice to make the focal point point the dullest color in the, <laughs> in the drawing. It's brown, it's everything else. Right. <laughs> it's an offset. He I like it. it. Out. <laughs> yeah, I, I really like it. Actually, I don't. I, it's it's different. I'm the bad guy. I love uh, it. You are the yeah. Apparently, you're the Simon of the show. So congratulations on that. And uh, way to dash uh, some person's hopes and dreams. Um, great. Good job. No kidding. Uh, just, just, but, I like uh, it. I, I point out all the. Uh, all the things that I would have done differently, that's all. No, of course. And here's the here's well, the best part. As the non-artist perspective, looking at this thing, it's like, I, I can disagree with you because it's art is subjective. And I think that's the beauty of collab is the fact that, you know, it, is that we can get different takes and different looks on it because, you know, I, I oddly am so drawn to the, and maybe because it's what you said, Garb, about how as a tattooer, you know, that's going to be a, a big focal point. And, and that's probably why, exactly why I'm drawn to it, but I love the fact that it's so different, so. Well, the great thing about digital art is you can change anything as you go. Like when you're doing paint, you know, like if you're doing a watercolor or a tattoo, once you pick that color, you're stuck with it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, this is fun. It's, an, it's a light, easy way to get around. What do you guys think about, um, Let's look at the one with the diamonds. I'm to bring it That's up on both. Poppin'. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So the eyes on this one in particular, I love what what I immediately sort of am drawn to on this and really love is the the belly and the eyes match. 
I don't know if you you can sort yeah. of see, you, you know, that, that's a real cool feature. I think that's 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 a neat neat little trick they did there. And the flames are colored in really cool. See, and that once again we go back when you put that dark black around things, it really pops it out. You see that in the oh. eyes. The eyes are are much more predominant just with that heavy, you know, dark area that they have surrounding it. But you know what? Garth, to your point on the last one, the way they kind of bring this light from behind it pushes that face forward in this one a lot. You know what I mean? You have that bright spot behind it. So with that little bit of light and then the way they sort of kind of light source this thing, it almost, you know, it gives it that kind of work to it. The, the backside of the body doesn't exactly pull off that same look, but there's definitely that kind of brightness to it, I think, that shines through. Yeah, I don't know. I think that the if it was darker in the middle, it would have brought you in a little more. Yet they did a little, little tiny hint in there, but I like the glow. I mean, I what I love about it is that none of this was there, right? So the fact that somebody's in there and they're scrapping it out and trying these new effects, I think is really cool. It's not something that I would have done. And that's exactly what I'm hoping to see is what yeah. other people are really doing with these. I think it's so cool. So, so to that point also as well, Chris, I should let the community know that, you know, we're taking all of your feedback and we're actually doing an entire UI UX overhaul, entire uh, redo of the design and, you know, add tools and make things easier. And this is all based on community feedback. So it's really important for us that we're, and, and we thank you for the feedback because that's what's going to make the app great. So when you open the app one day and there's a whole new UI there, uh, that's on you guys, actually, uh, and your feedback. So we hope you like it, but we'll, we'll of course keep tweaking it. But but about the backgrounds, um, and, and I'll just wrap on that thought is, you know, again, thanking the community. Um, we are going to be adding extra tools as well to make editing these backgrounds easier and more robust. And Chris has got some really great ideas on uh, I have a great features. idea. Yeah. About that. <laughs> Um, I think it would be, <laughs> I think it'd be interesting if you could drag and drop your own, like uh, picture from your own uh, library for the background. Yeah. Like we all have our own backgrounds here. Sure, and we and we know without a doubt that people are only going to put appropriate backgrounds in to that. So that's not a challenge whatsoever when it comes to right. looking at all those. That'll be fine. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> Great idea. We're on it. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> Everyone's like, yeah, why don't they have that? They should have that. That's right, they should. And we should. And, that, and listen, that leads me to our third submission. This one, uh, I'll kick this one off. This one we really like. I think I like all of them, but I think uh, the color play in this one's really nice. The way that the setup is on this uh, with the muted colors still gives it a really bright and strong hit to it. So I really, I thought this was a really great way to use that background. Boys. Yeah. Garf. Great. This one's got a good color scheme. I like this one. Would have been nice if the eyes had, had and the teeth were a little bit colored somehow, but overall this one's probably my favorite. Oh man, I'm going to disagree again with Garth. It's just the way this is going to go. I actually like that the teeth are super white and the eyes are super white um, and, and they don't have the color just because there's so much color. I mean, what is amazing to me is how muted it is, but how much it sort of jumps still. I mean, it's not overdone. It's very tastefully done. And it, um, you know, the the colors all, all work together. And it's sort of the opposite of what we saw from the last submission. I really liked in the last submission, what they had done around the eyes using the the black and and the way they had gone ahead and widened the brush on the black to almost make it look like eyeliner uh, to feature the fact that the eyes were offset. And in this one, it sort of lets the line drawing speak for itself, if you will. And yeah, it's cool. It's got a very godlike feature to it. That background, it just brings that front you know what I mean? It brings it to the front, but anytime you have that halo around it, it gives you that sense of of something biblical or something, you know, strong and featured. So it's nice. I like what they did with the background. I love the fact that they were able to make it look a lot like a watercolor back there. It has a really strong watercolor look behind it.
Oh, you know what? You know what else they did is in. The, am I crazy or in the eyes? Are they a little bloodshot? Is that if you? <laughs> oh yeah! Oh they, yeah! Right. Yeah. Look at that. If you zoom in on the eyes, that's a neat little addition, that's I think. Great. Oh yeah. You know what one thing Crafty. I have to, the hair kind of reminds me of like these club girls in Germany that have like colorful dreadlocks and they have like yarn. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I did good. That's what I was going for. EDM beats. Yeah, that's cool. I think the pop of green right near where the flame comes out of the mouth, that kind of distracts me from the fire, but Mm. everything pretty great yeah yeah it seems like uh i think the artist here went for uh to that point uh the fire is a different red it's like a deeper red um with some different highlights through it but i yeah i see exactly what you mean where it sort of blends a little bit there a little maybe a little clash it can Where's be tough the chris in your drawing the end of the body just kind of stops yeah it comes yeah. out of the flame that was it. I was gonna, actually, I didn't get to put it in. I was gonna put a little CC icon behind it, like a little plate, and I submitted it because we were under a time crunch and I forgot. I, I see forgot that. to put the piece I, in. I see something else you forgot. I'm no, I don't what want else to did I forget. mind too much, but if you follow <laughs> the belly, the neck under the jaw, it kind of like skips to the belly plates there. Well, don't hold back, Arv. Tell us how you really feel. I mean, no, this it comes is from not, the other side. This, oh, here we go. It comes from the other side. Look, Look under the. the Where does it go? It goes under. It's the hook. The hook. The the paw. What paw? The hoof. The hoof. <laughs> yeah. It's I think paw. he's just uh, Garv. I think you have him on the spot. He's just using words now. He's just looking yeah. for. It's the pot, it's the hoof. And he, it's, he ah, must be it's uh, he's, drawing. He's, he's looking at his dog right now. He's looking at whatever's in the room he could just repeat. It's the hat. It's the logo. Hey, it's I hat. Have under is like some time constraints. <laughs> it's all good. I don't know, man. I like it. I, I think that the drawing works and I think the way that this person colored it in is, is pretty dope. So if I had if I was gonna get this tattooed on me, I would get that one. Really? Yeah. Okay, well, that's a big statement. So that artist should be like, wow, that is awesome. Um, okay, so we know we know Garf's favorite for sure. It's well balanced. All the colors are really well balanced for for this. It, it catches. It has a nice mood and a nice feel to it. What else do we got? Let's see what we have. Oh. How about this second one? Oh wow, yeah. This is this is the uh Lost in Space. Lost in we'll space. Entitle this right. one. I feel like I should change my, my zoom background for this one. Maybe you should on the fly real quick. I mean, if this goes wrong, people are gonna see a very, very messy uh office. But we'll see. There we go. There you go. Technology for the win. Um, I again, okay. So this is what I was talking about earlier. With we're always sort of super surprised with what people come up with creatively with our tools in the app because I don't think any of us were prepared to see these robust backgrounds on any of these. But you're talking about somebody that recreated the Earth and did it geographically pretty damn correct. Like if you, you know you can see North America there and. and South America, I have like the whole, that's your like sort of prototypical view of, you know, your standard earth, which is blows me away that somebody just took the time to do that, create the space dragon, create the theme. I mean, there's a whole story here really like, right. It tells me that the, the dragon's flying through space, through the cosmos, you know, the earth is back there. I don't know. I love the use of more so than the dragon itself in this one. I love the use of the background. Like it's one of my favorite things. I like this Chris. kind of black hole thing with the uh, light shooting out of it in the bottom left. I think that's cool. It would have been neat if he would have uh, maybe tried to get as painterly with the shading as he is that part mm. of the background on the face. That would have been nice. 
Yeah. It would have been cool to make the whole thing like that and just have the line drawing stand over it because yeah, it that be background argued. is yeah. so, it's so interesting. It, it is. It could be argued it's better than your drawing. Um, I, I don't that doubt should, it. That should have been the line drawing. Like, that's how that good. Look at that. That's really crazy. Uh, and that's not taking anything away from your drawing. That's saying, like, how cool. That is fair. I like that, you know, and, and again, it, uh, pardon me as, as the sort of the non-professional artist here, but painterly, I think, is a great sort of way to, to describe um, what's going on in that. And it is, it is kind of, um, you know, it's interesting that that is so prominently featured just to the left of the background rather than in the, again, I think, you know, I think that for this one, the dragon really takes a seat, a back seat to the, to the background because the background is just that good. Yeah, that left side is, mm -hmm. is definitely the, that little swirl and stuff they did out of there. And then the way they, they were able to flip the colors going up. That's just interesting to me. It looks like an anime background kind of palette. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It, it has what that about, kind of status. Over the right side, though. What's that? It would have been nice if they would have brought some of that like purpley, misty stuff to the mm. right side, all black. Yeah. Yeah, it makes you, it's so interesting. It makes you want to see more. Yeah. It really does. It really does. Awesome. And should that lead us to our final submission? Yes, sir. Let's check it out. Anybody want to kick off? I think this one's got a good use of color. I like the uh, the blue hair with the, like the purpley kind of uh, gray skin, looks good. And the bellies, the shading on the belly kind of uh, gives it a lot of dimension. And the background's cool. The background really works well with it. Yeah, this this is probably one of my favorite. Um, and for, for Garve, I know it's got the colored teeth in there, so it's gonna click that box for him. Um, I, uh, definitely my favorite in terms of like the flames and the way those pop just in general i love the the shading in the face and i think the eyes are we've seen different use um over the submissions of you know how to how they're darkening certain lines and making them wider to, to make them pop and in this one the eyes are very alive to me which brings brings life to the overall drawing to, to garf's point earlier where the, the head is really the focal point i think they've done a good job of, of drawing me in through that and then having sort of the um orbiting extracurriculars be it the the background the belly the flame really you know complement that in, in a great way and it's it's all featured very nicely this is this is definitely my favorite they definitely this one has a effort in that yeah yeah and it's really smooth right like the shading in this one it has all those lighter areas in the ridge of the nose in the cheek in the ear all that shading in it really has a nice feel to it and it's consistent throughout uh the way they colored everything so they don't have different areas right and that's what i think makes this look so clean is that the overall way that they approach every different piece of this still has the same feel as if one person did it so it's you know it really has that that great ring to it uh, i think it's a again i think it's a really good job and the background the way the you know that darker kind of teal bluish comes into the sun the way that those two colors merge it looks again like a lot like watercolor so it's another effect that's really for me it's cool to see our users be able to pull off here and really give us different feels of what the app can do yeah this one's a great success you can tell they uh you know, they did a lot of rendering in it, which I don't normally do in tattooing. I keep it kind of flat, but it, I, it looks really cool like that. But I think the if the eyes were a little bit more rendered, it would look like it would be matching a little more with the rest of it. Um, the okay, that, that's great. They're a little Mark, bit looking compared to the rest of it. Could, could you explain for those that don't know, like myself, like I understand what rendering is, but when you say could be rendered more, um, for for the non artists out there, in layman's terms, sort of. It could what? have like more shading in it. Okay. 
Got it. Or like maybe a color to kind of make them less flat. Got it, got it. Yeah, everything on it is is so well shaded and then just the that really black of the eyes mm -hmm. with just those two little dots that that's the only part. It's so dominant that it really is the thing that pushes the furthest out on it. But yeah, you know, that's a stylistic choice. I'm I definitely they did a great job overall throughout this thing. So I like the light and the flames and you know, everybody usually goes hard orange, hard red. And they mm -hmm. went with this really pale, soft lighting in the center of all the different flame segments. It looks really cool. Yeah, I mean, that, that looks like the screen's on fire it, it, on my, you know, I got a beautiful high resolution monitor here that just makes it look amazing. I think it really features the uh, choice of color that they they went with here. And, and it, you know, I wish everybody could see it on this screen because it really, it really looks like it's jumping off the monitor, which is cool. That's because the yellow of the sun behind it really pops off mm. the purple. You know, it's a good oh, contrast. Yeah. Kind of a good contrast color. Like if the purple was like a really bright purple, it would be a little bit too um, uh, gaudy. But since mm. the purple's pretty toned down, it works really well with that yellow. That red too, the red belly under the teal kind of spikes in the face. Also yeah, the red against that green pops. Yeah it's a great way to, to get that face moving forward. And also with like a little bit of yellow over like the highlights from the water, still looks really good. Oh so, yeah, look at that. Yeah. That, that, wow, yeah, that's cool. I didn't even notice nice that. Little, nice little reflection there. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Cool stuff, man. It's really awesome what people were able to turn out. And again, there was so many submissions. It was, it was really crazy. So to get to see everybody really coming out and you know, showing us all these different ways that our app works, I think is so fun for us, uh, for the back of our house, no? I mean, it's so cool to see everybody doing things that we didn't anticipate. Yeah, speaking of which, I should probably explain for those that don't know what an NFT is. Um, so, you know, part of the prize package actually being that it will be an NFT, uh, NFT obviously stands for non-fungible token. And essentially, you know, in its simplest form, it's it's it basically attributes uh, digital ownership to the author. Um, one way that, you know, uh, Simon de Bitball, who is the, the real genius behind the entire app and of course the whole team, um, explains it is it's sort of like a time machine, right? Because it's going to give you a certificate of authenticity that is pretty undisputable um, because it's, it's commonly shared through everybody that everybody agrees, yes, this is, uh, you know, the author of this digital expression. So you'll be able to carry that forward, you know, through time and, and see who has traded it, who has owned it, or if they've only had one owner, how many owners they've had. And, you know, it's really cool because you'll be able to have a, a digital locker, if you will, of, of all of your favorite different submissions. So, um, yeah, I think that's a really, that's a great uh, thing to come around recently. It, it gives the ability for great artists like Garb and Nunez to um, be attributed to their work, a new avenue to sell work, and it's great for us here at CoLab to be able to celebrate what our community creates and, you know, be able to go ahead and give that that certificate of authenticity to to our community members. So I think that's a really, it's going to be a really awesome. And, and I think this is going to be your first NFT, Chris, isn't it? Nunez? This is it. It's, well, that's, that's interesting. Yeah, it's a giveaway. Yeah, yeah it's really cool. Right. Yellow. Yeah, Hello. We're we're still here, buddy. There you go. <laughs> like he was fro I thought you were frozen for a second. Oh, I might have. Mine did. I so lost I my connect for a second. Pre so, you know, after this, I've learned a lot and I feel like my drawing wasn't particularly up to par. So I'm going to go ahead and fix the belly and then we'll turn it into an NFT and we'll be able to give it back to you. Properly. I thought you ended the belly like it was, uh, you know, you meant it to be that way. So I just let it let it slide. Oh no, you didn't let it slide. Did you, so did you let have, it slide I though? I mean, go. wait a second. Did you really let it slide? <laughs> Let's be honest, Garf. Let up did on let him. Let I didn't slide. Ended himself. Yeah, it definitely. So now wasn't I have a feet. great place. Now I have a, a great way to do this NFT because I was like, man, what am I going to do to 
to give this NFT out properly. And now I'm gonna I fix it. Idea. I'm gonna fix my drawing. Is what I'm gonna do. Well, you know what? <laughs> That's you know what? it. I'm so used to seeing you critique everybody else. I figured it was your turn. I knew this was coming. I know, buddy. Yeah. I knew you, you were gonna are do still, it. You are still a master, Chris. You are still a master. Yeah, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how this <laughs> NFT goes. I think it's pretty cool, man. I mean, I'm really excited about like NFT stuff. I don't personally own any yet. I should have tried to compete in the competition, but um, <laughs> I'm looking that forward to. Are, you, are, going to, are there going to be more NFTs from uh, Color Collab, or is this? Yeah, like the only one? absolutely, absolutely, Chris. Yeah, there. Uh, so, you know, the end goal here is eventually once the technology sort of catches up uh, from an economic standpoint. We would love for anybody to be able to go ahead and create and list an NFT on an exchange from within the app. I think that, you know, you could do that essentially now on your own by downloading the uh, drawings that you create. But, um, you know, moving forward, I think that we're going to have some um, different interesting innovations and talking to both Chris's, both of you guys. I mean, God, it was years ago I had you both in, in VR. Not that long. We're not that old. But I remember you guys going into VR for the first time and messing with some of those paint things. Uh, the different paint formats and and sort of bringing that all into one world where you've got this sort of digital art expression um, through collab is is the end goal. So yeah, I think that there'll be more custom NFTs, um, more collaborations with artists, and maybe even some non traditional artists coming on on board as well. So we actually remember we addressed Chris to do the first one. So I skipped the line just for this contest, but we're looking at getting Chris on board. Simon's already been working on uh, on an animation for him, so I think everybody can look forward to having a Garver NFT jumping out soon. I'm definitely bidding on that. I'm not afraid to say it. Like, I'm gonna want to own that for sure. <laughs> That's awesome. Yours too, Nunez. Yours too, Chris. Actually, I, I don't have a favorite here. Both uh, my two art dads. I feel like I don't have a favorite parent. Um, you're both both equally amazing. Too kind, buddy. Well, shall we wrap this one? Sounds good, man. Guys, thank you so much for, for coming on with us and thanks for your time. Thank you to the community. And you guys go ahead and say any farewells you want, but it was a blast. Thanks for so much for letting us see what you did. Yeah, it was great to see what everybody did and um, you know, kind of inspired me. I think I'm gonna color in Chris's design after we get off here. And uh, maybe I'll fix the belly lines for him. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I'm just kidding. I love cool. it. I love anyway, it. Anyway, uh, uh, thanks for having me. And uh, it was fun to uh, talk about everybody's stuff. Yeah. Um, thanks, buddy. You know, that, that's, thanks, Gar, for coming on. Thanks to the whole crew. Thanks to the whole team. Glebe, obviously, Max, Simon, Carrie, Greg, everybody that, um, you know, put forth the grueling effort and time to, to create the app in and of itself. And, and start max. to launch these max i think i said max they're not that's get max just in case i didn't max twice how about that um so that that's my sign off is thanks to the whole crew and the team and of course the community thank you guys so much <laughs>